What's up, boxing fans? In the ring, boxing.com. I'm joined here with Elvin Ayala. He's 21 5 with one draw, nine by way of knockout. He's fighting on the April 1st card at Foxwoods, it's dubbed the Coming Attractions. Uh, Elvin, uh, you, you just fought a month ago. Uh, you're coming off of a unanimous decision win at Mohegan Sun over uh, Mustafa Johnson, and you're getting right back in the ring April 1st at Foxwoods. Uh, you have an opponent yet? Uh, yes, I think his name is Samson Aniego. He's uh, 20 wins, 7 losses. Um, he's uh, from Kenya or something like that. I think he resides now in New Jersey. Uh, he's an adorable fighter. He, he's been the distance. Uh, he, I think he fought for a title. Um, I'm pretty sure he's coming to, you know, well conditioned and he, he's probably coming to win. Uh, I'm not going to let him win though. You know, I've been training hard. I'm doing my thing. Uh, my last fight was pretty much to shake some rust off. This fight, I'm, I'm looking forward to, um, you know, being being a lot more crispy, a lot more sharper in my punches and, and more smoother. All right. So, and so from what you know about him, he, you know he's a well-conditioned fighter, or you just you just assuming that he's probably gonna be. He's, I seen a, I seen one video of him. I seen him moving around, throwing throwing punches. He, he he's a counter puncher. Uh, his opponent threw some punches. He smacked it out the way. and was throwing punches back, um, and he doesn't get tired. He, he didn't look like he was tired to me at all. Well, that, that, that's that's a good thing for you, anyways, because you're looking to even remove. If there is any more rust, you're looking to remove that all, anyways. Yeah, get it all out. Well, you're an experienced fighter, man. You've been in there with some of the best. You fought the likes of Arthur Abraham, Sergio Mora, and uh, you know, how do you approach you know fighting a guy like this? You know, is, is it easy for you to get up and, and be motivated for an opponent like this? No, uh, I, I don't take nobody late, lightly because uh, anybody who steps in the ring, you got to take your hat off because it's, it's a hard thing to do. You can't just wake up one day and say I'm going to be a boxer. It's got to pretty much be in in you to do it. Um, I, I feel very confident, but not because of who he is, just because of who I am. And the experience that I have in my life, you know, with boxing, out of boxing, it's just, I just feel a lot a lot more better, a lot more mature now, so. And I'm looking forward to capitalizing on that. How's the training been? Training's go, doing great, it's doing really good. Uh, sparring? Uh, I, I, I'm putting in some good sparring. Um, it's kind of, it's not that, uh, because I'm getting left-handers and, and i got to get some right-handers. And then the guy's tall, so I don't want to spar nobody who's short, you know, with sh short arms. I need somebody who's uh, tall and long arms. So we're getting a few of that, in, but it's doing, it's doing pretty good for the most part. And uh, what, what can fans expect to see from you April 1st? They can expect to see me being explosive, um, very fast, sharp, and accurate with my punches. What, what's your plans for uh, 2011? I plan to get a title and defend it a few times and put my name out there the way it should, it should be. Not, I don't want to be known as, oh, he fought for three world titles and, uh, oh, he could have made it and, you know, he, he has champion qualities. I want to be known as the champ. I want to, I want to get the title and, and hold it and really rep who I am, show that what I, what I can do. I can really do this and that's why I'm still here because I can do it. I only got 14 amateur fights, so I don't have, like, a, a lot of boxing background you know with, with the Pan Ams and all and the Olympics and all that stuff but I got a, I got a background in the streets where you know it raised me crazy and I, I grew up fighting so now I made a profession out of it and I'm a lot more mature than I was before so it's a lot better yeah I'm asking uh, every fighter that I speak to uh, what's your official prediction for Pacquiao Mosley um, I gotta go with Pacquiao I think I think uh, Mosley I think Mosey is a great, hell of a fighter, but uh, I think he, I think Pacquiao has just got it right now. You know, I think the, the momentum is with Pacquiao. The gods is with Pac Pacquiao right now. You know what I mean? <laughs> I hear you, man. Hey, hey, what, what, what weight actually is this fight gonna be at? I have super middleweight. I moved up in weight since my last, since the last loss I had in Canada. It was uh, 160. I couldn't make the weight, and um, after that loss, it, I didn't feel too good at making 160. Oh, so, okay. 168. All right. All right. So 168 is a loaded division, and uh, you're saying you're looking for a world title. Um, any specific? I know you probably don't want to call names out because I know you're a class I'm, I'm actor, right, gentleman. Yeah, I don't you wanna... know. <laughs> but but who's the number? Who do you think is the number one guy in in that division? Well, um, I really haven't looked. Upon, because I just jumped into the total 168, so I'm kind of just swimming. I'm swimming in, in the waters right now, so okay. I really haven't, you know. But uh, I'm pretty sure once I get some decent knockouts 
in the 168 division and show that I belong in the big, with the big boys, that um, it'll, it'll start happening all by itself. All right, man. Hey, is there anything you want to say to your fans? I just want to say thanks for supporting me. God bless. Keep your head up and be safe. Uh, in the ring boxing.com. That was Elvin Ayala. Look out for him. April 1st, if you're in the area, come to Foxwoods, come support a gentleman and a warrior. In the ring boxing.com.